The weather, the budget, and you. The clock is ticking for a new federal budget to pass. If no deals reach by Friday, $85 billion in cuts will go into effect. And that's where our special series comes in. Programs under at least nine federal departments or agencies that we routinely routine routinely cover will be impacted. One of those is the Energy Department, which could curtail cleanup efforts of old U.S. nuclear sites, some of those high-risk areas. That gets us to the future of U.S. nuclear sites. Could they be much safer, much smaller, and built underground? Well, the future is closer than you think. The Weather Channel's Dave Malkoff reports. Now, if this is what you think a nuclear power plant looks like, a Virginia company called B&W M Power wants to change your mind. There are only a limited number of places uh, where you can actually build those big plants. They cost a lot of money to build. CEO Christopher Mowry just signed an agreement to build this, a small underground nuclear reactor near Knoxville, Tennessee. The whole power plant is under an eight foot thick slab of reinforced concrete. The M Power reactor is just the right size and price for small towns. Really what we have located right here is the very bottom. But they use the same enriched uranium fuel the big plants do. If you've never seen nuclear fuel before, this is kind of what it would look like, the same size and shape. The reaction begins when you drop it into what's called a fuel rod. A long tube with those pellets inside. Place them next to each other and atoms start to split. Things get very hot very fast. It only shuts down when the operator drops in a control rod that acts like an energy sponge. One shutdown switch is here in the central computer control room. The other is an analog switch, a backup to the backup. And this is the backup shutdown system that I was talking about that mm -hmm. shuts the reactor down just by turning these two switches. Still, Japan happened less than two years ago. So as far as I understand, the Fukushima Daiichi plant in Japan melted down because it lost power and it couldn't cool itself. How is this any different? Dave, great question. The, the basic difference here is we don't need power to cool the reactor. He says if this reactor overheated, gravity would open a floodgate, cooling the core, lessening the risk that nuclear gases or fuels could leak out into the surrounding neighborhoods. Now, in the future, Maori wants to sell these mini nuclear reactors outside the United States, even in the developing world. I mean, if the world is going to address climate change, it has to be more than just the United States building clean energy power plants. That would require another layer of security. How would that happen? Who gets these plants? Will they actually work the way the company says they do? Now, since the technology is here, those are questions the company, their competitors, and the federal government will have to answer before the decade is out. In Lynchburg, Virginia, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. All right, Dave, thank you so much. The developer, which won a funding grant from the Department of Energy, signed its first contract last week and wants to have the first of two units in service by 2022.